you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 9th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 After this Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside and he spent some time there with them and baptized John also was baptizing at Aidon near Salim because water was abundant there and people kept coming and were being baptized John of course had not yet been thrown into prison now a discussion about the purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew they came to John and said to him rabbi the one who was with you across the jordan to whom you testified here is baptizing and all are going to him john answered no one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven you yourselves are my witnesses that i said i am not the messiah but i have seen sent ahead of him he who has the bread is the bridegroom the friend of the bridegroom who stands and uh, hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice for this reason my joy has been fulfilled he must increase but i must decrease the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends both John the Baptist and Jesus indicated a new way to the crowds but Jesus after having adhered to the movement of John the Baptist and after having been baptized by him at once we a step ahead and created his own movement he baptized the people in the river jordan when John the Baptist was also doing it both of them attracted the poor and abandoned people of palestine by announcing the good news of the kingdom of god jesus the new preacher had a certain advantage over john the baptist he baptized more people and attracted more disciples thus a tension arose between the disciples of john and those of jesus concerning the glorification that is concerning the value of baptism the disciples of john the baptist experienced a certain envy and went to john to speak to him and informed him about the movement of jesus john's response to his disciples is a beautiful response which reveals his great spirit john helps his disciples to see things more objectively he uses three arguments a nobody receives anything which is not given by god if jesus does such beautiful things it is because he receives them from god instead of having envy the disciples should feel joy b john reaffirms once again that he the john is not the messiah but only the the forerunner of jesus in the end c in the end he uses a comparison taken from the wedding feast At that time in Palestine on the day of the wedding in the house of the bride the so called friends of the bridegroom waited for the arrival of the bridegroom to present him to the bride in this case Jesus is the bridegroom the crowd is the bride John the friend of the bridegroom John the Baptist says that in the voice of Jesus he recognizes the voice of bridegroom and can present him to the bride to the crowds yeah at the end of the first century in palestine as well as in asia minor where there were some communities of jews there were also people who had been in contact with the john the baptist seen from outside the movement of john the baptist and that of jesus were very similar to one another both of them announced the coming of the kingdom there must have been some confusion between the followers of jesus as well as john the baptist and because of this the witness of john about jesus was very important the four gospels are concerned about transmitting the words of john the baptist saying that 
he is not the Messiah. For the Christian communities, the Christian response, John's response, he must increase, but I must decrease, was valid not only for the disciples of John at the time of Jesus, but also the for the disciples of uh, other communities of the end of the first century. Lord, they shall dance in praise of his name, play to him on tamarinds and harp, for Yahweh loves his people. He will crown the humble with salvation. Amen. May God bless us.